All right, y'all, so we got all the parts here and uh, just kind of preliminarily set up. We marked the three studs, well, it's two studs, but it's they're 24 inches apart. You can see my stud buddy at the top there. So that's the left side stud for the left post here and bracket there, that brace bracket right there. And then on the right side, we're gonna mark the top there as well. And I just, basically I wanted to show you guys that we have it all ready and you just find the studs to get these two support brackets in place that are gonna be attached to the main posts away from the wall. So I'll show you guys just exactly what we're doing. We're gonna do it in time lapse. And then once the time lapse is done, I'll, uh, I'll kind of give you guys some up close shots of the, the, the bolts and exactly what we did. So just wanted to give you an idea of how we're gonna get started and what we need to do. And then I'll show you all how to, you know, obviously bolt it to the concrete floor and you'll have your rogue squat rack ready to go. I think this is the, yeah, the MLW4 rogue squat rack. So as you all can see, we got the three lag bolts in the stud there. And then we got the two huge bolts that come with the kit to hold that brace bracket in place. And then the main post here, uh, their ceiling is eight feet high. So a foot of that post goes up into the ceiling. So now we're gonna do this side here. We'll bring that same bracket out and just measure everything up. And I'll show you guys how to do that in time-lapse. And then I'll show you down below how to uh, mount uh, the bolts or the main bottom plate of the post to concrete or uh, however it is that the customer just wants me to do it right over the padding onto the concrete since it's thin padding. But that's pretty much it. We just gotta tighten it down and we're good to go. But before I tighten down, I'm gonna do the other side, make sure everything lines up and then we'll tighten it all down. up the second post which is going to go right here into the ceiling this is nine feet tall so we're just going to lift it up and attach it with just the two bolts like we did the other one get that in place see how it looks line everything up and then we'll get the uh, pull-up bar in between them y'all so we have everything in its place here looking good we have not tightened any bolts down i just hand tightened it just to make sure the customer was happy with the setup and the placement of the squat rack so right now so you see these are loose just hand hand tight well i can't tighten it <laughs> but anyway they're loose just take your impact gun something like this right here and take a adjustable wrench to tighten down these eight bolts here four on each side and then we are going to drill the three holes through the padding into the concrete because the customers are happy with that and then remember the back part here we got three lag bolts on both sides to hold the back there so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a time lapse of tightening those down and then we'll do a time lapse of drilling the holes and adding the bolts and then we're going to cut the tiles to fit over the posts there and then we'll be good to go. All right, so now we have three inch, three eighths size bolts, concrete bolts or anchor bolts here that will be placed there to anchor these guys down straight into the concrete. I highly recommend getting a <laughs> SDS hammer drill. Do this, not just a regular hammer drill, but a SDS, like a, this is a Bosch Extreme Bulldog Extreme. This one is corded, but you can get a cordless one. And then what I do here with this Bosch, you have a depth indicator, or, you know, so you don't drill too deep. I like to go a little bit past the point of the bolt itself, depth wise. So again, just 
this will help you not drill too deep. And yeah, just go ahead and pre-drill. It's a 3 8 bitch for 3 8 inch bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and time lapse the drilling and bolting down, and then we will be pretty much done other than doing the cutout on those tiles so they fit right on top of the post there and around the post. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. All right, y'all, so that's it. We got the three bolts uh, screwed down into the concrete through the plates on both sides. This guy's solid, is not going anywhere. Ready for workouts. We just have to complete the tile cutout here. We're just gonna cut out a square, basically around the top of the post there, so we can bring the tile back down, get it covered, and uh, this is gonna be ready to go for them. This is the Rogue Monster Light. If y'all have any questions, please ask them in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to answer whatever it is you guys ask about this. y'all we are done with this rogue squat rack everything is in place solid concrete bolts we're gonna clean that up after but just want to say thank you for uh, tuning in and I hope this helped encourage you to be able to install your own rogue squat rack here and uh, if it did please show your support by liking sharing commenting subscribing of course and don't forget about my big power tool giveaway for all of 2021 is looking like the way it's going to go and so um, here at mastery mayhem always looking for the best tools tech diys and deals for you until next time all the best to you and yours